been shopping. It's the first day of the competition and we're about to hit the first stash slash location of the day. 500 Aglet. I've not done an awful lot of steps so far today, but this is a marathon, not a sprint. That's what I've been telling myself while I've been editing the video today and not getting steps. Location number two, now the Lion and Swan stash. Open it up. This is usually a small stash and once again it is 100 Aglet, but we'll take it. <laughs> Later that night. This is gonna seem really weird and random, but after that clip you saw, we went home, went on a walk, and we saw a pigeon. The pigeon was upside down and it couldn't get itself over, so we went and helped it. We got it back over and it went and hid off in the shadows. And we thought nothing of it. We're like, okay, he'll be okay. He's just like resting up. But then we came back from our about half an hour walk. The pigeon was still hiding where it was, so we went and got a cardboard box. We've contacted the local bird lady and she won't pick up the pigeon until tomorrow morning. So currently I'm reusing a Nike box in the best way possible to save a life. This here is going to be the lid that keeps him safe overnight. We're going to actually keep the bird inside because obviously it's cold and he's injured like its wings all mangled and stuff. Becky's also in the shower filming a pigeon in the bathroom with her. It's all a bit wild. All I wanted was some steps. Once Becky's finished in the shower, we'll get to the pigeon. Until then, I'm going to carry on making holes in this cardboard lid. So welcome to my bathroom. We finished the bird's lid. Let's take a look at him. It's very obviously injured because he's not moved for about an hour now, would you say? Yeah. So I'm going to pop on the lid and turn this pigeon into a Nike pigeon dunk. I'm going to turn the lights off in here now, leave him in there until the morning and hopefully he has a good night's sleep and rests up well. Then we'll take him to the local bird woman in the morning. The next morning. He's walking about, so it's really hard to hold this balance straight. I'm not taking the lid of this box off because if he can fly, he'll fly inside the house. It'll be an absolute nightmare. So I'm keeping the lid on, taking him out, taking a, the top off the box, and then seeing if he can fly. If not, I'm taking him to a woman who lives kind of local, and she deals with like wildlife that is in danger. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna take him over here. It's the moment of truth. Is he gonna fly out? Hiya. So he's not flying anywhere. He's a bit scared. He's pooped himself a few times, but that's okay. I just need to take out the bowl and the food, and then we should be good to go. I feel so sorry for him. I reach in to grab those two bowls over there, and he just squeaks at me. Like, I know I'm not going to hurt him, but he doesn't know I'm not going to hurt him. He's just chilling in there. Anyway, yeah, let's go to this woman and see what happens. So, little birdie friend. He's gone. He's in the woman's house behind me, in a cage, being treated. She's gonna put a cast on it. His wing is broken. I, it was pretty obvious because of how it was. But now that that little saga's over, let's go hit up day two of locations. By sheer coincidence. We just pulled up at these temporary traffic lights and there's a nice little hidden stash for 200 aglet. I'll take it. 3,000 whoop who's later. New shoe day, baby. How disappointing. Broken box, brand new shoes. Oh well. They're for personal. Three years ago, you'd be freaking out right now. They really skimped on the quality on these, didn't they? Like, there's glue stains all on the knit. Oh, well, it is what it is. Blacked out, 1.0, Ultra Boost, you're mine. The next morning. Now before I get into the Aglet One BLM, I want to shout out Christian from the Discord. He's set up a YouTube channel and he's uploaded his first video. The channel's name is Some Aglet Vlogs. I really enjoyed his first video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I recommend you go check it out. So the Aglet One BLM. I am shook to the very core. I thought the grinders drop was supposed to be next week, but no, they've only gone and done it. The Aglet One BLM is the most profitable tier three 
regular aglet shoe in the history of this game. The reason why this shoe is such a good earner, the durability on these shoes are 92 and it's so high to represent the durability and strength of the black community. Now it's durability doesn't make it the most efficient shoe out there but if your budget is low you should 100% be going for these shoes. The total possible profit from this pair is very very similar to the Crying Jordan ones. Although because the durability of the Crying Jordan ones is so much lower you earn that aglet a lot faster with the Crying Jordan ones. The fact that it's a tier 3 sneaker makes that sneaker shine super cheap and makes it really easy to dead stock because all dead stock stations repair a tier 3. You have 3 repairs on this pair. These shoes are insanely profitable even in just one wear. If you sneaker shine all the way through their repairs you'll get just under 19,000 aglet. If you don't have the Crying Jordans, the Jordan 4 Sail Off Whites, the Dior Lows, the Black Reflective 350 V2s, the Static 350 V2s, the Origins, or the Fenty Slides, or even the Della Soles, I'd Say these are the best sneakers you could be wearing. You get about double the profit you get for wearing the made for walking boots. And they only require 1,000 more boost rate steps to wear them all the way through. Now I'm going to leave that there. I hope that bird from yesterday is okay. And let me know down in the comments what number Aglet 1 BLM you got. If you're new here, I recommend you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notification bells, and like that video. My goal here on YouTube is to help out Aglet players old and new, so why don't you come along for the ride? Now I'll see you in a bit. Peace.